what's the book about? Well, uh, the book is about the rise of a new elite in British politics, which is gradually losing touch with the country. I point at a, a left-leaning group uh, who tend to disproportionately dominate the media, the cultural institutions, creative industries, also politics. It's not just about people on the left or in the Labour Party. This new elite are also visible within parts of the Conservative Party. Yeah. I think many people who are watching this show will be perhaps uh, uh, already aware of, of this group, what they think, and, and I just put it out there. I yeah, said this group's losing touch with the country. If you find the ideal, per the ideal, the person that you're describing, how old are they, where do they go to university, how do they vote in the referendums, elections, yeah. how are they, who are yeah, they? So the interesting are they white, are they male, Yeah, the female? interesting thing about, about this group is, you know, they often went to Oxbridge or Russell Group University, they tend to lean very left on issues like immigration, they wanted to remain in the EU, they really hate Brexit, um, they're very proud of their liberal identity, they've become much more liberal over the last decade, they absolutely hate Boris Johnson, they live in the cities, the university towns, and they increasingly look down on other people in society. They increasingly identify themselves as the winners, the morally righteous, radically progressive, um, luxury belief class. And they derive status from projecting their sense of moral mm. righteousness. And your point in the book, I think, is that they advocate for things that don't affect them. These are well, free hits, so mm. maybe immigration won't affect uh, their wages because they won't, their wages aren't affected by more people coming to country. Well, you know, country. the interesting thing, Chris, is the new elite has spent 20 years advocating policy that bring them status and aren't really costly for them, but which impose big costs on other people. Mass immigration would be one, hyper-globalization would be another, let's hollow out the economy, let's turn Britain into an economy that's dependent upon mass migration and consumption. And of course, they're the winners, they're in the cities, they've got the, the money, they've got the, the, the big housing um, uh, increases in the housing prices and so on, so they don't need to worry about the effects of this. And we now see this with sex, with gender, with history, they they advocate a very negative view of who we are, of British history and identity, whereas lots of voters out there, Chris, really care about their national identity. They care about their national history. And so the new elite now today is also really stripping away something that gives people a lot of status, a lot of recognition. And that's why I, I argue this group is really now um, reflecting what another academic, Rob Henderson, has called the luxury belief class. They get a mm. sense of righteousness and status yeah. by sitting on Twitter every day. They're much more likely Possibly to use too Twitter. Much, too much on Twitter. They spend all their time on Twitter, either abusing or, or criticizing people that don't share their beliefs or projecting their beliefs so to others to win status. So who are these people? You wrote a piece in the, in the Times, which <laughs> is the right. paper of the establishment. Yeah. They published it. There was some reaction to that. Yeah, I've had a strange week on, uh, on, on social media, Chris. Um, I found myself being um, widely criticized by members of the new elite. I right. mean, I had uh, oh, Mehdi Hassan private school, Oxford, I had James O'Brien, private school, LSE, I had David Aronovich, went to Oxford, John Paul Tez went to Oxford. Um, they sort of lined up one by one to deny they were part of this new elite and to, to deny it even exists. Um, but, but what they exhibited, Chris, this is important, is another key feature of the new elite, political intolerance. All the evidence shows that members of the new elite are the most likely to unfriend people who hold views they disagree with, block them on social media and Twitter, to feel very worried if their son or their daughter marries somebody across the political divide. God forbid their child marries a Brexiteer. God forbid their child marries a Conservative.